everybody. So here we are at Broadstone and we are going to change out these containers. And then we is Alyssa, me and Alyssa. So this is Alyssa's first time changing out these two containers. And I know that you remember um, me and Jessica used to do these. So this used to be Jessica's container. And when we had that 100 degree weather, it was just so hot. and and these we have to hand water so sometimes on the weekends we don't really get out here so pretty much a lot of the things died out and so Alyssa came out here early this morning um, and took out everything same thing with the other one um, everything pretty died, pretty much died out but look at the silver falls so Jessica and I put these in here because we thought it would be so cool that um, you know silver falls like waterfalls and this is a fountain we thought it would be so neat to see the the um, spiller kind of spill into the water. I mean, yes, it is now touching the water and I have trimmed this, but look how cool that looks. And on the other side, it just looks like um, water flowing down from a from a container. <laughs> so yeah, this one all died out. The strawberries got really dry, right? The strawberries dried out. And um, this, yeah, it really kind of sucked. So, but this is doing really good. I don't know how much of this we're going to keep. I think we're probably going to keep these Calabrocoas. Uh, but let me show you what we have in the trailer. We have so many cool things. I'm so excited. And I'm so excited that Alyssa is going to be taking care of these containers too. So let's see. Let me show you what we have. So this is the selection that we have. Oh, this is so cool. So these are called lamb ears, right? Lamb ears? Yeah. Lamb ears. And for those of you that have children or want kind of a sensory garden in your backyard or, you know, in the patio area, this would be one of those things that you can add into it because it is so soft, like, literally like lamb ears. <laughs> so we have some chocolate drop coleus. We have some little pink impatience. Those are called uh, portalacas. And when the sun hits them, they, the flowers open up. We have some sweet potato vine. We have some, I believe those are called, what are they called? Heart to heart, these red ones. Um, fancy, what is that word? Caladium, caladium, getting better. The little uh, tufts of grass right back there, those are called baby tuts. And of course we have our zinnias and our petunias right there in the back. So I don't know what we have planned for these two containers. We're just gonna go through. I really feel that, you know, it's a new it's a new season, fall, and I just wanna take everything out and freshen everything up. So let me just, uh, let's just get started and I'll show you how it looks afterwards. Okay, so I just wanted to show you what we have in mind. This is Alyssa's picked this container and these are the things that she um, decided to put in there. We have two lamb ear, one kind of a, would you say parallel? I don't know. Across from one another, we have the baby tut in the middle, and this baby tut is supposed to get to be uh, Osa. <laughs> I forgot my glasses. 18 to 24 inches. 18 to 24 inches. Now, <laughs> we're not gonna let it get 18 to 24 inches. You know, we're probably gonna pop it out way before then um, because I like to save these and uh, winter them over, or just kind of. You know, take care of them, not just throw them out. But these right here, these are gonna get, I thought they were only gonna get eight inches. No, like 18 inches. Um, so we're gonna put some right here. We have the sweet potato vine, we have the lamb here, and we have these beautiful petunias. These are like a double chiffon petunia. Look how pretty that is. So that's just gonna drape down over the side. And that's gonna be so stunning because I don't know if you remember, Jessica had that pink petunia and it loved this location. It just spilt out over the side. Now my container is a little different. I didn't pick the pink, um, I think they're called impatience. I didn't pick the pink impatience, but I did pick this chocolate drop coleus. And Jessica and I planted these um, last year in a lot of containers and they just grew so ridiculously crazy. It's so beautiful. They love the full sun. Um, I've never planted these lamb ears, so I'm excited to see what that's going to look like. And then I decided to pop in some red and orange zinnias because I know how the zinnias look and I know that's going to fill in the area. I also, to tie in Alyssa's with mine, I um, added a little sweet potato vine. 
and of course the baby tut in the center. So that is gonna look so fresh and so so new. I cannot wait to see um, how this is gonna turn out. So yeah, let's just get started. We're gonna start planting and um, where's Alyssa? There she is, she's already starting. And we're gonna go from there. So I'll show you what they look like afterwards. Okay, so here we are at Kirkland's. We decided that we had a little bit of time to take care of these two containers because they are just looking so sad. Look at that. Now in this container, we did have a beautiful plant called Temple of the Bells. And as you can see, it is no longer beautiful. It's so dry and I know it's dead. But then let's just double check for sure. So if you see stuff like this and you're wondering if it's completely dead or not, what you can do, instead of breaking a branch or breaking a limb, you could just get your finger and then rub some of the skin off of it. Now, there. So what you do is you scrape off a little bit of the stem, just like that, and you'll see if it's green or brown. And this one is obviously brown, so you can see that. So if you just dig your nail or some scissors or shears and just scrape off that little top layer, if it's good, it'll be green, but if it's bad, obviously this one's bad, dried out, it's brown. So we're gonna give this container and the other one a really good, fresh look, but I do love these strawberries in here, um, just because they're so stinking cute when the strawberries come out. And these strawberries are gonna die out soon, so, but I thought for right now that'd be kinda cute. So let's just get started on these two containers, get them a nice, fresh look, and uh, for the fall. So we're gonna go and get all of our stuff from our trailer and then set up shop. So we'll be right back. Oh, we have some action going on here. Look at this big water mess right here. And here's John. What you doing, sweetie? There's Daniel. Hey, Daniel. What's going on here? We're just uh, marking the sprinklers so we can air it. What happened? Is that a big leak over there? No, that's just, she messed up on a valve that, or that's discontinued, that shouldn't have been touched. Oh, who messed up I on it? I didn't see anything turned on, so I just... <laughs> you messed up on it? Yeah, I turned it on, <laughs> turned it on and I was waiting for water to come out. Ah. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, well, at least that's taken care of. Not a lot of action, just a little bit of a leak. Okay, so we are finished with these two containers and uh, we're just watering them in, but they look so cute. So let's show you what we did. So we, instead of doing the baby tuts, we decided to do these um, calendulum, calendulum I think they're called. I think they're, that's what they're called. But look how beautiful that is. So we put the calendulum, I think that's how you pronounce it, in the center. Then I was only able to fit two little impatience in there. And, oh, there's a pincher bug. Oh, no. Oh! <laughs> so then we have a lamb ear right there on both sides. I added two lamb ear. And we left the little strawberry. So we had a little strawberry plant in there. We just kind of left that in there because it looks so cute when the little strawberries um, pop out. And then here's Alyssa, kind of the same thing. She added a little bit more impatience. She was able to add four of them. 
And then she put her one drone. I don't even know what the name of that is. Do you remember what I called that? Yeah, me neither. I'm going to have to look that up. Um, and then she also added the little um, lamb's ear right there and the sweet potato vine. And when we pulled out the other sweet potato vine, we were able to harvest a bunch of these um, like white potatoes. Well, I, think, I don't think we're going to eat them though. They're tiny little guys, but it was kind of fun just to be able to harvest a bunch of potatoes that we didn't plan on growing. So yeah, that is it for today. It is getting warm out here and uh, I'm going to call it a day. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to show you what these two containers are going to look like along with the other ones across the way um, Yeah, in the fall. So I'll keep you posted and I'll make sure that I stay on top of it. I did not stay on top of it with our um, summer containers because it was just so hot and I just, I dropped the ball on that one. So hopefully you enjoy these and hopefully you enjoy this video. Take care, be safe, and we'll see you at the next site. Bye-bye.